This is so strange. So Joe Biden has two things on his schedule today. All right. A 1.30 in the afternoon meeting with the family of George Floyd. I'm going to get to that in a moment. And then he's going to Delaware where he lives. But we can't find out why. Nobody knows why. Uh, Saki has a press conference today. Doesn't nobody asks her. And I said, is nobody interested in why Joe Biden on a Tuesday is going home to Delaware? Is, is there a reason? Did he leave the water running? <laughs> why? Now, by the time you see this, maybe that'll come out because we tape in the afternoon here uh, a few hours before we go up. Um, but, you know, it should be, well, Joe Biden, the president of the United States, going to Delaware to do this. No, we don't know why. So tomorrow I'll address it. So strange. I've never seen stuff like this. As I told you, I've never seen a lighter schedule for a sitting president ever. Maybe Millard Fillmore had one, but that was before my time, just barely. <laughs> Biden, I just don't know what he's doing. Okay, so let's go to the uh, George Floyd situation. Now, we got uh, some dissent from uh, BillOReilly.com premium members, concierge members, viewers, and listeners who disagree with me that uh, the Floyd family deserves the honor of going to the White House. Okay, so I'm going to read one letter uh, because we like robust debate. Now, we know uh, that some people, when they hear something they don't agree with, get angry. We don't. As long as the uh, argument is framed in an intelligent way on both sides, we're happy, not angry. Okay, so this letter comes from Nancy. I'm not going to give you her last name or anything. Um, and she says, quote, honor Floyd and his family for what? For Floyd having so many illegal drugs in his system, they would probably have killed him. For his family being paid $47 million, just what is our government honoring him and his family for? Unquote from Nancy. Well, number one, it was a $27 million settlement from the state of Minnesota, all right, the city of Minneapolis. It was at 44, federal government, <clears throat> 47, I'm sorry, federal government had nothing to do with that. That was an out of court civil action settlement. Number two, the word honor, I, I don't know if, yes, it's an honor to go to the White House. Every time I've gone there, I felt honored. But this isn't like uh, a visit so President Biden can say, well, you're in a category of helping the nation. It's not that. It's, as I said last night, it's a matter of compassion. So. I went on the radio today, and believe me, everybody's talking about my analysis, and I'm happy about that because it's getting out everywhere. And I went on the radio this morning and said this. Go. You know, a lot of uh, viewers and listeners got angry with me last night when I said I, if I were president, I would have invited the Floyd family to the White House. And the reason I would have done that was to show compassion not to isolate this out. Now, I believe, and I could be very wrong on this, I believe Joe Biden's doing it for political reasons, that he's invited the Floyd family there to show how noble he is. Virtue signal. Could be wrong. But for no, me... You're not, you're not wrong. What? You're yeah, I wrong. mean, look, based upon what ha has happened in the past, I mean, they use, they being the uh, progressive left, the Floyd uh, killing to advance their socialist agenda. That's what they've done. All right, so you it's not a stretch to feel, well, we'll invite the Floyd family because this will further our, you know, socialist goals. However, if the conservative traditional movement wants to regain power, it has to show compassion. And that's one element in that crew that's missing. So any decent person would say George Floyd might have been a drug addict and a low-level criminal, but he doesn't deserve to die that way. And every police officer I've spoken to agrees with me because I did a canvas on the cops that I know. I said, what did you think about this? Because I was very interested to hear what they had to say. 
And all of them said it was horrible. And yeah. and so if you can show compassion that, look, no one deserves to die that way, then you rise above the partisan politics that is so destructive to this nation. Fellow Americans, I am concerned about the U.S. dollar. Huge debt, as you know. Will it stay as the world's reserve currency? That's why now more than ever, I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. And the only company I recommend and have for years is American Hartford Gold. I trust them. I've personally done business with them. They sell physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. And they make it very easy. So call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. And they will give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold shot up more than 40%. Silver, more than 60%. So don't wait. Call them now. 866-501-5201. 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video, and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below, and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.